Great. Welcome, everybody. Let's go ahead and get started. Please stand and shake everything out and let us, so I don't chop my hands off here, I'm going to turn the fan off because I'm tall enough to chop my hands off if I keep it there. So let's stretch today. Let's breathe today. Let's loosen up and warm up and shake everything out. So we'll work a little bit extra on posture today and as well as just stretching and toning and relaxation at the end. Nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Let's take some deep cleansing breaths. Inhale up. Exhale, reach and lower all the way down to the sides. Always check the posture. Up again, inhaling. Exhale, stretch and lower. Keep the feet flat on the floor. Bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale and stretch up from side to side at your own pace, reaching and breathing. Feeling the stretch up the sides of your body as you do. Nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. We'll do the midsection first to warm up. Up inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen and lower the arms to the T position, palms down. Keeping the legs and hips stationary, take a deep breath in. Exhale and rotate just the upper body to the left. Front inhale. Exhale, rotate just the upper body to the right. Front inhaling. Exhale, both arms forward in the parallel position, reaching forward, pulling the shoulder blades apart as you do, keeping those abs in nice and tight. Breathing. Then release. Bring the arms back behind. Clasp the fingers together. Straighten the arms. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And if you want a little more, bend the knees, knees over the feet. As you bend at the hips, push out through those glutes, abs in tight. Head and neck and extension of the spine. Arms can be low, high, or in the middle. Straighten the legs, inhaling. Exhale, hold it here with that chest open, breathing, or arch back. Jaw closed for a better stretch on the neck. Up, inhaling. Exhale, release the whole, keep the shoulders back, but bring those shoulders up by the ears. Arms are relaxed. No neck. Don't forget to breathe. Release, keep the shoulders back, but long arms, long neck. Imagine touching the ceiling with your head and the floor with the fingertips. Really stretching. Breathe. And then release. Bring the right arm up, inhale. Exhale, reach, lengthen, stay in the same plane as you stretch to the side. Weight evenly distributed on both feet, both feet. Keep those abs in tight. Bring the right shoulder back as you reach up, look up, align the left shoulder in that same plane. And feel the stretch of the right side of your body, breathing. That felt great. Up inhaling. Exhale, change side. Let's do the same on this side of our bodies. Nice and tall. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and stretch on this side in the same manner, staying in the same plane. Weight on both feet. Abs in tight. Bring the left shoulder back as you reach. Look up. Align the right shoulder and feel the stretch up the left side of your body. Breathing.
up inhale. Exhale, both arms straight up. Check the posture, take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach, lengthen, bend the knees, knees over the feet, bending at the hips in this Utkatasana, fierce or chair pose. You can look up at those fingertips, pushing out through the glutes as you're bent at the hips. Don't forget to breathe. Then straighten the legs, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen. You can continue to reach upward or arch back. Reaching back, jaw closed for a better stretch on the neck. Don't forget to breathe. Up inhale. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms all the way down to the side. Check that posture nice and tall, hips tight under, shoulders back and down. Take a deep cleansing breath, inhale up. Exhale, reach and lower. Bend the elbows and roll the shoulders back. Great big circles, loosening up the torso as you roll. Then straighten the arms for full range of motion. Breathe. Shake everything out, moving your hips from side to side. Shake your feet out like you're shaking off water. Our midsection should be pretty well warmed up now, nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Just turn your head at your own pace from side to side. Try to make sure you don't make any jerky movements. Roll your head from around and around if you can. Go slowly. And go in both directions, keeping the shoulders back and down as best you can. Don't forget to breathe. And then come back to the center front. Nice and tall, lower the chin to the chest, pressing the chin into the chest. Release the hold. You'll always feel the stretch of the opposite side of the neck. And then with the heavy head, roll to the left shoulder. Keep the shoulders back and down. You'll feel the stretch of the opposite side of the neck. If you have neck issues, only roll in the front. If not, jaw closed. Heavy head throughout, center back. Roll to the right shoulder, check that posture. And then center front, pressing the chin into the chest. Release, opposite direction. Back if you can. Left shoulder. Center front, pressing the chin into the chest. Release. Center front, inhale. Exhale, place the fingertips or palms on the front of your thighs. Keep the shoulders back and down and bend at the hips. You want a nice flat back and you want the upper arms up against your torso as best you can to help keep from rounding that back. And then go to your limit, lengthen that spine. You can modify by bending the knees over the feet if you need to. You just won't get the same hamstring and glute stretch, but that's fine, listen to your body. And then just release and relax down, head, neck, and arms, relax, breathe. You can just hold your, just let your body stay here. But if you want, you can reach back. I'm just putting my hands beside the feet. I'll turn to the front here. And my fingertips are on the floor. My palms are up, but you can have the palms down. And just keep the legs as straight as possible and reach back as far as you can. You can modify by just 
putting your fingertips on the front of your legs. So listen to your body and breathe. Then just release and relax down and slowly round up one vertebra at a time, head, neck, and arms relax. Keep those abs in tight. And as the head comes up, bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale and again, stretch up from side to side at your own pace, reaching and breathing. This is a great stress relief. Now stand with your nice and tall, with your hands on the waist or the hips, and I want you to push your hips forward. And then kind of roll to the left, bending your knees just a bit, roll back, straightening, roll to the right, and roll forward. And now go in the opposite direction, roll to the right, roll back, roll to the left, and roll forward. Back to the center, open those legs. About twice the width of the shoulders. Feet pointed forward, but they can be pointed out just a bit if that's comfortable, but push forward again. Roll to the left, roll back, keep those abs in tight. Roll to the right and roll forward. Now opposite direction, roll to the right, roll back, Roll to the left and roll forward. Back to the center, toes out, heels in, nice and tall. Bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms to the T position, palms down. Really lengthen those arms and keep the shoulders down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, stretch to the right, right knee over the right foot. You may hold it here or reach toward the floor. Keep that back long and flat, abs in tight. Up, inhaling in the center T position. Exhale, whatever you did on the right side, do on the left side as well. Don't forget to breathe. Up, inhaling. Exhale, right again. You may repeat or cross over, opening to the back, reaching up, abs in tight. Look up. T position in the center, inhaling. Exhale, whatever you did on the right, do on the left as well. Breathe. T position in the center, inhaling. Exhale, arms up. Check the posture, inhale. Exhale, reach and lower again to the T position, palms down. I'm gonna walk my feet in a bit, like one to one and a half the width of my shoulders, and then bend both knees, knees over the feet, lowering the hips. If you want, you can try to come up on the toes and then lower down. You can just hold it there if you want, or again, come up on the toes and lower down. Now slowly come up, inhaling. Exhale, reach and lower all the way down to the sides. Bring those feet in and shake the feet out and your arms. We'll add a little bit of balance here. Nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Focus on a spot in front of you that doesn't move. I'm gonna do the right side first. You do what works for you. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and bring the right leg up in front of you. Lower it, inhaling. Exhale, right knee up in front. Rotate it to the side, lower to the side, inhaling. My arms are just out. You can put your hands on the waist if you want. Exhale, up to the side, rotate it to the front, and lower, inhale. Exhale, bend both knees. Up, inhaling, left side now. 
Exhale, bring the left knee up in front. Lower, inhale. Exhale, up in the front. Rotate it to the side. Lower to the side, inhale. Exhale, up to the side. Rotate it to the front and lower, inhale. Exhale, bend both knees. Up, inhaling. Exhale, hands on the waist or the hips now, and we'll continue with the right side. So take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring that right leg forward. Leg is straight, foot is flexed. Circle the foot. And then change direction with the circle. Then point, flex, point, flex. Lower, inhaling. Exhale, out to the side, leg is straight, foot is flexed, point, flex, point, flex, lower, inhale. Exhale, to the back, leg is straight, foot is flexed, tighten the glute, point, flex, point, flex, lower, inhale. Exhale, bend both knees. Up, inhaling, left side now. Exhale, bring that left leg forward, leg is straight, foot is flexed, relax the foot and circle the foot. And then change the direction of the circles. Then point, flex, point, flex, lower, inhale. Exhale, out to the side, leg is straight, foot is flexed, just like the other side. Point, flex, point, flex. Lower, inhale. Exhale to the back. Leg is straight, foot is flexed, tighten that glute. Point, flex, point, flex. Lower, inhale. Exhale, bend both knees. Up, inhale. Exhale, shake everything out. We're going to do a little more balance, not much. Just a dancer's pose. We'll do it to the side, actually. But focus on a spot in front of you that doesn't move. Relax the arms, inhaling. Exhale, I'm going to bring my right leg up first. Bend the knee, see if you can hold the toes, the foot, the ankle, whatever you can. Bring the left arm up. Bring the leg back behind you and the arm in front as you come forward just to balance. Focus on your spot and breathe. Up, inhaling, exhale, release, and lower down. Let's take a deep cleansing breath. Up, inhaling, exhale, reach, and lower. Now I'm going to turn the other direction, and we're going to do the other side. Relax the arms, inhaling. Exhale, bring the left foot up, bending the knee, hold the foot, ankle, or toes. Bring the right arm up, inhaling. Exhale and come into the dancer's posture. There are multiple dancer's postures, just this is one of them. Focus on your spot, your posture, and your breathing. Release, inhaling, exhale, and come out of the posture. That was my better side normally, but oh well. Nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Deep cleansing breath, inhale up. Exhale, reach and lower. Roll the shoulders back. Great big circles, loosening up the entire torso as you roll. Breathe in, and then straighten the arms for full range of motion. And let's shake out a little bit more. We're going to go ahead and do 
a sun salutation. So stand at the front of the mat, nice and tall. Feet parallel to each other, no more than shoulder width apart. They can touch if you want. Nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and knees. Bring the arms up, inhale. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach, lengthen, stretching upward or arch back, reaching back. Jaw closed for a better stretch in the neck. Up, inhaling. Exhale, stretch forward, bending at the hips. And just let the upper body relax down. Let gravity pull you down, abs in tight. Breathe. Then come into Ardha, Uttanasana. Fingertips on the floor beside the feet. You can modify with your fingertips anywhere on the front of the legs, but try to keep the shoulders back and down as best you can. You can also use blocks or books on the floor to put your fingertips on if you choose. Of course, you can always modify by softening those knees, but listen to your body and breathe. You may hold it here or lower the palms to the surface below you, either the mat or the prop, into Uttanasana. Keeping the legs as straight as possible, only bending the knees if you need to. Pushing out through the glutes as you bend at the hips, keeping those abs in nice and tight. Then bend the knees enough to slide the left and the right foot back, hip width apart, hips in the air, up on those toes or the balls of your feet. Push the heels down, head between the arms, lengthen the torso and arms, rotate the shoulders down from the outside so that the triceps are somewhat facing downward. Breathe. You're in this downward facing dog. You can always modify on your knees if you need to. Just keep those abs in tight and breathe. Now lower the hips to a plank or a high hover position. High on those shoulders. You can always modify down on your elbows if you have wrist issues. Try to make sure the rear end's not sagging or sticking up as best you can. High on those shoulders again. Then open to the right to a side plank. You can modify with the left or lower knee on the floor. You can have the heel of one foot up against the toes of the other or stack your feet on top of each other. Focus on your posture and your breathing. If you want, you can lower the upper arm above the head, bring it back up, inhaling. Exhale back down to a plank, check your posture, make sure you're stable, and then open to the other side. And whatever you did on the other side of your body, try to do on this side as well so your body is balanced. Focus on your posture and your breathing. You want to lower that upper arm above the head. Bring it back up, inhaling. Exhale back down to a plank. Check that posture. Breathing. Hips back up into the air. Up on those toes. Push the heels down. Lengthen again. Come into that downward facing dog. And if you're not modifying on your knees, take the left hand and bring it holding the outside of the right foot and turn. It's a bit of a twist. Looking up, breathing. Then bring the hand back and take the right hand and take place it on the outside of the left ankle or leg. Looking up, breathing. 
and come back to the downward dog. And now lower again to a plank. Just brief. High on those shoulders, breathing. Check that posture. Keep those abs in tight. Head and neck an extension of the spine. Bend the knees, knees on the floor. Tops of the feet on the floor. You may lower into a puppy pose with the forearms and head on the floor, rear end up in the air. Or lower all the way down to a moon position, resting the rear end on the heels or as close as you can. Arms still outstretched, head and neck relaxed, abs in tight, breathing. Pick your heads up, slide the arms down. Forearms and elbows on the floor, clasp your fingers together, toes in the floor, and come into that low hover, that elbow plank. Elbows are directly under the shoulders. You can always modify by lowering the legs down to the feet. Breathe. And now lower the quads on the tops of the feet to the floor to this elbow cobra. You may hold it here or palms on the floor, forearms on the floor in this sphinx posture. Looking up, jaw closed for better stretch on the neck. Try to stay high on those shoulders as best you can. Breathe. Now you may hold it here, breathing, four palms on the floor beside the rib cage. Elbows close to the body. Take a deep breath. In. Exhale and come all the way up to a full cobra. High on those shoulders. Look up and breathe. Now plant the toes on the floor behind you. Pick the hips up into the air. Up on those toes, push the heels down. Lengthen again, come into that downward facing dog. And if you're not modifying, you can walk the dog, keeping the toes on the floor. Bend one knee as you push the other heel closer to the floor and switch up back and forth at your own pace. Feeling the stretch up the back of your leg. Breathing, walking your dog. Because if you're a cat person, you could be walking your cat. Or both, and push both heels down. Now you can lower the hips enough. You can either walk your hands back to your feet or slide your left and your right foot back up to the front of your mat into Ardha Uttanasana. Fingertips on the floor or modifying the fingertips on the front of your legs, pushing out through the glutes, head and neck and extension of the spine. Breathe. You may hold it here or then lower the palms again to Uttanasana, palms on the floor beside the feet. Hopefully you're getting a nice stretch of those legs as best you can. Modify if you need to. Breathing. Now just release the hold and you may round up one vertebra at a time, head, neck, and arms relaxed, or arms at your ears or your sides. Flatten the back as you slowly come up, inhaling as you reach the top. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach upward or again, arch back, reaching back. Jaw closed for a better stretch on the neck. Up, inhaling. Exhale, again, prayer position. 
Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Check the posture and take another deep cleansing breath. Inhale up. Exhale, reach and lower. We're going to do a chest expansion, a couple chest expansions here. So bring your hands back behind you, clasp those fingers together, straightening the arms. Remember, you can always grab something if you need to, to hold if you can't keep the arms straight with the fingers clasped together, but hold it here, taking a deep breath in. Exhale, either just open the chest and breathe or arch back, jaw closed. Up inhale. Exhale, stretch forward, bending at the hips, lengthen the spine. Relax the head and neck, arms up high, abs in tight, breathe in. You can always modify by bending the knees if you need to. Listen to your body and breathe. Now slowly come up. Inhaling as you reach the top, keeping those abs in tight. Exhale, keep the fingers clasped together or hold your prop if you need to. But this time, if you want, you can turn the palms down and out. So the palms are facing out. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, open the chest, breathing or arch back. Up, inhale. Exhale again, stretch forward, bending at the hips, lengthen the spine, relax the head and neck, arms up high, abs in tight, breathe. Slowly come up, inhaling as you reach the top. Exhale, lower the arms, but keep the fingers clasped if possible, nice and tall. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hold it here with the chest open, breathing, or again, arch back. Up inhaling. Exhale, release, shake out, moving your hips from side to side. And let's Roll those shoulders back, great big circle, loosening up the torso. We roll back far more than we roll forward because we don't want our upper backs to round. Straighten those arms for full range of motion. Breathe. Shake out like you're shaking off water. And let's get down to the floor, hopefully without using our hands for support, but if you need them, use them. And seated stick posture, legs straight, back straight, arms straight. Point the toes, flex the feet, pushing out through the heels. Relax the feet, release the hands. Hopefully your back didn't move much. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend the right knee and you have two choices here. You can bring the sole of the right foot into the inner left leg, wherever it fits, nice and tall. If you don't have any knee issues and you want more of a stretch, you can bend it more and put the heel in toward the groin and the toes are kind of underneath that leg. Your knee will be much more bent on the side. So you have to listen to your body. You don't want to hurt yourself. Nice and tall, facing the front. Bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, stretch forward, bending at the hips. Your hands can be under the left thigh, calf, ankle, heel, or you can wrap your hands around the instep with the foot nicely flexed, abs in tight, 
breathing. My head and neck is an extension of the spine. If you need to relax your head down, you may, but you don't want to round your back. You want to keep that back as long and flat as possible. Breathe. Keep those abs in nice and tight. Then release and slowly come up, inhaling. Exhale, reach and lower the arms all the way down, relaxing that left foot. Take a deep breath in, exhale, and let's change sides. First, we'll have seated stick, nice and tall. Legs are straight, point the toes, flex the feet, relax the feet. Now bend that left knee. Either have the sole of your foot along the end side of your right leg, if you did it on the other side, or put the heel in the groin area. And your toes will kind of be underneath that right leg. The left knee will be bent much more. So again, listen to your body, do what works for you. If you have an issue with one side of your body and not the other, you can do it differently, but just realize your body won't be quite as balanced, but issues are issues. So nice and tall, bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, reach and stretch forward. Hands under the right calf actually thigh, calf, ankle, heel, or wrap your hands around that instep, pulling that leg or that foot back in a flexed posture. You don't want to hurt yourself. You shouldn't feel pain with yoga. You should feel nice stretches. And perhaps you're using muscles that you hadn't used for a while or perhaps never. It's really every body is literally different. So focus on your posture and your breathing. Now release and slowly come up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, relax the foot and lower the arms all the way down to the side. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, straighten both legs out. Seated stick posture, legs straight back, straight arms straight, point the toes, flex the feet. Relax the feet and open the legs. Now, if you have any kind of issues and say you have back issues and if you go down to the side, it bothers you. When you go to the right, you can bend that left knee and bring that foot in. You're putting less stress on your back and which won't bother you unless you have an issue. So nice and tall. We're going to go down to the sides and give ourselves a nice good stretch. So nice and tall, bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, turn, face the straight left leg and stretch over it. Your hands can be under the thigh, the calf, the ankle, or the heel. Lengthen the spine and bring that torso right over that straight leg as best you can. My feet are just relaxed right now. My abs are in tight and I'm breathing. Point both sets of toes and flex both feet. I'm keeping the feet flexed and slowly come up, inhaling as you reach the top. Exhale, reach, lengthen, relax the feet, turn and face the straight right leg and stretch over that straight right leg, hands under the thigh, calf, ankle, or heel. Keep those abs in tight. Stretch that torso over the leg as best you can face toward that leg. Feet are relaxed at this point and you're breathing. Point the toes, flex the feet. 
keep the feet flexed and slowly come up inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, relax the feet and now stretch to the left, left ear towards the left leg facing the front. Your right arm can be straight up. It can be parallel to the floor or if you want, you can see if you can touch those toes and bring that shoulder and arm back looking up as best you can. Keep those abs in nice and tight. And don't forget to breathe. Now slowly come up inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and stretch toward the right leg, right ear towards that right leg. Left arm can be straight up. It can be parallel to the floor, or you can bend the elbow and see if you can touch the toe. Every body is different. Look up if you can, bringing the shoulder back so your body is in alignment as best you can. Abs are in tight and you're breathing. I'm relaxing my feet. I started flexing them just out of habit. So we'll flex them another time. Slowly come up inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms down to the side. Now, my hands are on my legs, wherever they happen to fit for you. Point the toes. Flex the feet. I'm going to keep the feet flexed and slide forward with my hands on my legs. But try to really bend at the hips and keep the back as long and flat as possible. Your hands can be anywhere on your legs that you choose. I'm going to wrap my index fingers around my big toes. Flex my feet and lower my torso toward the floor in front of me. Holding it, breathing. And then slowly back, come back up and bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms again down to the side. Now place the fingertips on the floor in front of you. Relax those feet again. You might be able to open the legs just a little bit more and walk forward. My feet are relaxed, but now I'm going to point my toes and flex the feet, coming forward as best I can. Walk hand to hand over to the left foot. Face toward the leg briefly hand to hand back to the center. Now hand to hand over to the right leg. Face toward the leg, just briefly, and then hand to hand back to the center. Point the toes, flex the feet, now you can walk your fingertips back up or arms at your ears, slowly coming up, inhaling as you reach the top. Exhale, reach, lengthen, relax the feet and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Slide those legs together. Hopefully you got a good inner leg stretch and perhaps hamstring stretch. I like to have my fingers pointed outward. I'm putting my hands back behind me, palms on the floor. My back is straight, but at an angle and walk your feet up and down, releasing some of those muscles I hope you just stretched. Keeping the abs in tight, breathe. And now sit nice and tall, seated stick posture. Legs straight, back straight, arms straight, point the toes, flex the feet. Relax the feet, release the hold. Relax the hands on the thighs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and round down one vertebra at a time. As you reach the floor, take a deep breath in. 
Exhale, push down with the arms and slowly bring both legs up. Remember, if you have back issues, bend the knees and then straighten the legs up perpendicular to the floor. Point the toes and flex the feet. Try to keep those shoulders on the floor. Relax down. Relax the feet and circle those feet round and round. The lower back is against the floor as best you can and the abs are in tight. And then change direction with those circles. Don't forget to breathe. Point the toes, flex the feet. Relax the feet. Place the hands on the back of the thighs. If this is difficult, just hold it here. You want to keep that lower back against the floor and bend at the hips. And if you can, bring those straight legs closer to your torso, keeping those shoulders on the floor and the lower back on the floor. And then see if you can slide the hands up to the calves or the ankles. You don't have to, but you may. You can keep your hands on the back of the thighs and the legs straight up if you need to. Listen to your body and breathe. Point those toes. Flex the feet, pushing out through the heels. Relax the feet. Release the hold. Bend the knees and hug them into your chest with your arms. Full wind releasing position, breathing, rolling from side to side if that feels good. Remember the full wind releasing position is where your legs are relaxed, but your arms are tightly hugging both in toward the chest. Your abs are in tight and your back is against the floor. So when you roll from side to side, you massage the back against the floor, promoting circulation and hopefully preventing pain. And then come back to the center. Straighten the legs up perpendicular to the floor, arms at your sides, near your hips, palms down, point the toes and flex the feet. Relax the feet, place the soles of the feet together, bending the knees, but this time bring the feet down toward your torso so you can hold either your, your shins or calves or your ankles or even your toes with your hands. Knees are bent and open. You're trying to bring the heels in as close to that torso as possible, keeping the shoulders as close to the floor as possible opening those hips. Then release and straighten those legs up perpendicular to the floor again. Point the toes and flex the feet. Keep the legs straight and the feet flexed and walk that ceiling. Push out through the heels as you keep the legs straight and slowly Walk, you might not be able to open your legs very far with that lower back on the floor and the abs in tight, but just walk the ceiling as best you can, moving slowly so you're using your muscles and not momentum. Then come back to the center, point the toes and we'll do the scissor. Cross one leg over in the center and open wide as we had our legs earlier on the floor and then cross the other leg over in the center and open wide. And go at your own pace, doing the scissor, keeping that lower back against the floor and those abs in nice and tight shoulders on the floor. And try to keep the upper body as relaxed as possible as you use those muscles in the lower part of the body. Breathe in. Remember again to move slowly so you use your muscles and not momentum. Come back to the center. Toes are pointed, flex the feet, relax the feet, bend the knees, and we're going to do some full pelvic twists. So keep those knees high into the chest, arms in the T position, palms down, shoulders remain on the floor throughout. Lower those knees over on the right. If you go all the way, that's fine. If you go part of the way, you work your obliques a little better. Keep the abs in tight throughout and look at the opposite hand if you can. 
and roll the knees over to the other side, the same distance. You can modify by looking straight up if you choose, but go from side to side. You can hold each side a bit, but you don't have to. You can go in a fluid motion if you choose. Just try to do the same on both sides of your body as best you can. Again, so that your body is nicely balanced. And don't forget to breathe. And if you want a little more when you're in the center, straighten the legs up perpendicular to the floor. Point the toes and flex the feet. Keeping the legs straight and the feet flex, slowly lower those legs down toward the floor on the right side of your body and toward that right hand, looking at the opposite side just like before. And in a slow, fluid motion, bring those straight legs up, massaging the back against the floor as you slowly lower them in the same manner on the left side of your body, looking at the opposite hand if you can, and go back and forth at your own pace, focusing on your posture, your breathing. Try to keep the movement as fluid as possible when you are moving. And again, don't go fast so that you actually use those muscles. Breathe. is so good for your core and strengthening your abs and your back. Even when your knees are bent, it's good for any kind of twist, pelvic, spinal. And on the final one, if you haven't already done so, bend those knees. and come back to the center. Let's slow down a bit. I'm going to move up and straighten my mat out. Straighten the legs up perpendicular to the floor, point the toes and flex the feet. Relax the feet, place the soles of the feet together, bending the knees and slowly lower those feet to the floor, allowing the knees to open. Let gravity just pull them down. Lower the arms enough so that they're near your sides, palms up, fingers naturally curled up. Shoulders resting down into the surface below you. Close your eyes and breathe in this bottle opener posture. And now we'll prepare for Shavasana or full relaxation. So just slide your legs down. Let the feet flop out to the sides. We'll go straight into Shavasana or full relaxation. Arms at your sides, near your hips, palms down, shoulders on the floor, feet flopped out. You're in the corpse posture. Eyes are closed. We're gonna take a deep breath in together and just relax. We're going to inhale through the nose and exhale through slightly parted lips. So let's inhale together through the nose. Fill the lungs. And then slowly exhale through the mouth again through slightly parted lips. You can breathe on your own a bit because now soon we'll take another deep breath into our systems. And this time when we exhale, we'll fist and flex and tighten everything we can in our bodies as we exhale together. So let's take that deep breath in together through the nose. And now exhale and tighten. <laughs> and 
and just release and rest down into that corpse posture or whatever posture feels best for you. You might want to put something under your knees or cover yourselves with towels or blankets, whatever you need to do to be comfortable. Close the eyes and you may want to roll your heads from side to side until you find the most comfortable position for your head and neck. Your eyes are closed. Your shoulders are resting down into the surface below. Open your minds and travel to one of your favorite safe places. You're in your safe place. You might be alone or with your favorite person or people will move through your body, consciously releasing the joints and relaxing the muscles as we do. Today, we're going to start at the tip of our head or the very top of our heads, our scalps, and we're going to relax our scalps. Imagine a massage moving through the scalp, beginning at the forehead, moving all the way through to the base of the skull of the neck. Smooth the forehead. Relax the eyes and temple as you smooth that brow. Relax the nose and ears. Relax the cheeks. Relax the lips and the tongue. Release the jaw as you relax the chin. Your face and head are relaxed. Focus now on the neck, relaxing the neck from the top to the bottom and all the way around. Breathe. Focus now on the shoulders, relaxing those shoulders, allowing them to sink deeper into the surface below you, releasing the joints as you relax the deltoid and lateral muscles. As you move down the arms, relax the upper arms, the biceps and triceps. Release the joints in your elbows. Relax the forearms. Release the joints in your wrists. Relax the hands, releasing the joints. Relaxing each finger all the way out to the tips of those fingers. The head and neck are relaxed. The arms and shoulders and hands are relaxed. Focus again on those shoulders. Relax those shoulders even more. Relax the upper back and shoulder blades as you relax the spinal column moving down from the base of the skull through the neck and between the shoulder blades. Focus on the chest now. Relax the clavicle or collarbone area. Relax the sternum area and pecs. Breathe. Relax the diaphragm and rib cage areas as you move down the torso. Relax the mid part of your back and spine. Relax the lower back, the muscles, as you relax the spinal column, moving down through those muscles all the way to the tailbone. Relax the abdominal muscles. Relax the obliques up the sides of your torso. Now focus on the hips. Relax the hips, releasing the joints. 
relax the glutes. Allow the glutes to sink deeper into the surface below you, wherever you might be in your safe place. As you begin to move down the legs, relax the quadriceps as you relax the thighs. Release the joints in your knees. Relax the hamstrings up the back of your legs. As you move down those legs, relax the shins. Relax the calves. Release the joints in your ankles. Relax the feet. Relax the heels, allowing those heels to sink deeper into the surface below you as you relax the feet and toes, releasing the joints and relaxing each toe to the very tip. Your hips, legs, and feet are now relaxed as well as the torso, arms, head and neck. Your mind is open. You're in your safe place. Your body is relaxed and functioning perfectly. And now from wherever you may have traveled in your mind, it is time to come home. So take a deep breath into your system. Exhale and become aware of your fingers and toes, your wrists and your ankles. Take another deep breath in. Exhale and bring those legs up, bending the knees, hug them into your chest with your arms. Raise the head up toward the knees. Lower the head, inhaling. Exhale and either roll to the right to sit up or rock and roll up to a seated position, sitting cross-legged, half lotus or full lotus in whatever manner suits you best. Nice and tall. Bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, prayer position. Hold the position, inhaling. Exhale, and thank you very much for coming. Namaste. I hope you all feel better than when we started. I hope you got what you needed. And please unmute yourselves so I can hear those gorgeous voices. Thank you very much for being here. Namaste. Thank you.